What's up guys, this is Ty the Asian Wonder again, your online personal trainer. And in this video, I wanna share with you guys uh, some gloves and I wanna do a glove review for you guys so that you guys will know how to shop for some workout gloves. I think all the gym equipment and all the gym gear that you could possibly get, I think that the gloves, the workout gloves, are the most crucial, the most important, and uh, everybody should have some, and I highly recommend that everybody use workout gloves when they're training, okay? Now, uh, I'm just gonna review the best uh, that I've seen. Um, the best that I've seen, guys, are the ones that it's up to you uh, if you want to get the chopped off fingers or not, right here, um, so that you can grab the bar easier. Um, this one here, I, it's, it's 2011 when I'm doing this review, and I bought these gloves back in like 2007, 2008, and uh, they still last me. As you can see, guys, that the, uh, the it might be a little bit dark here in the camera, but the uh, it's kind of worn out here. But the thing that I like about these is that they're made out of the neoprene. They're made out of, on one side, it's made out of the neoprene, and it's the same material as the surfers wear on their body suits. And then on the palm side, where you actually grip the bars and the cables, the, um, the, uh, it's made out of kind of like a synthetic, it's a fake leather, it's not real at all. I mean, it's very obvious, they're not trying to hide it or nothing. And there's some padded cushion where the, your calluses would normally form at. And I think that these are the, uh, the, the best gloves they have on the market as far as working out goes. Um, this one here is made by Altus um, Athletic, that's A-L-T-U-S, and um, um, they're not paying me to say that or anything like that. Um, what, I, what I am doing, uh, the reason why I recommend that is because of one reason only. The reason is because that they don't stink whenever you use them. Most of the leather gloves that people buy and use in the gyms, as soon as you use it for a couple of weeks, they start stinking up the whole place, right? And I hate working out and doing curls or any kind of exercise where my hands get near my face and I have to smell some stinking gloves, okay? So that's why I recommend that if you guys get any kind of gloves, make sure that you guys get the ones that are fake leather and use the neoprene ones. They have other materials too, like cotton or fabric on the back side, and I find that those, when they start getting sweaty and, and it just it smells really bad, and also you can't wash them that easy. Uh, the neoprene ones here with the fake leather, whenever you need to wash them, every like a week or every couple of weeks, I just throw it in the washer with the rest of my clothes, wash it, comes out, and it's completely fine. There's nothing wrong with it. Um, the only wear and tear that I got from this is from training heavy with it, and that's why it's worn and torn, okay? so. Those are the number one types of gloves that I recommend. You don't have to get this brand. Just get anything that has the neoprene on one side and the fake leather on the other side to protect the, cal the calluses on your hand, right? Or to prevent them from having it. The second type of gloves that uh, I have here, these are um, carpenter's gloves or they're for uh, mechanics gloves. What they have here is they have a really uh, very, very solid padding on the inside here, on the, on the palm side where all the calluses form that, and you'll notice that it's a full finger glove except for these three fingers here. They've been chopped off, and the reason for that is that way you can make a fine adjustments like when you're tightening in the bars and everything like that. That's really, really great. Now these right here, they have a neoprene on the back side also, and they have a fake leather on the inside, and these are really great too. And um, they look very, if you guys uh, ride motorcycles, they, they look very similar to motorcycle gloves, which you guys can also use too. So these are really great right here. Just make sure that there's not, uh, the gloves that have, um, just make sure that they're, they're from a quality brand and you can look at it and see if the stitching is tight and everything so that um, when you use these things, they don't bust on you when you're training. Now, the last uh, pair I have here that I've used, and they're not very good, and here's the reason why. Um, they're good when you first buy it, but because it has the real leather on the inside, and these are made by Craftsman, they're mechanics gloves, and as far as precision goes, uh, these gloves are very good uh, so that you can have very good control of your hands. However, the, and they have very good padding too, but the only problem with it is as soon as, uh, two problems. One is that they stink up really fast within just a couple of weeks. The leather on here, because it's, <clears throat> it's good leather, they, they, they stink. And there's, I haven't seen any kind of leather yet on the market in the last 18 years I've been training that when sweat hits it, that it doesn't stink, okay? So um, if you wanna use mechanics gloves, you're welcome to use these. And um, what I actually use these for is on the days that I train really heavy and I'm maxing out or at the end of my training cycle when I'm going heavy, what I'll do is I'll use these for those workouts because the grip on it is a lot better than the other two that I just shared with you guys. Um, the other bad thing that's bad about these um, mechanic gloves from Craftsman or, or most of the mechanic gloves is that when you wash them, they just deteriorate. As soon as like, I mean, I only, after the first washing, these gloves just completely fell apart. I mean, look, look at that. I don't know if you guys can see that or not, but 
it just the, the all the leather is separating from the uh, um, the cloth and all the cloth is separating from the, 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 the pads and everything so make sure that you guys um, these I don't recommend I still personally use it because I bought it already and I'm not just gonna throw it away so I just keep it for those days I train really heavy I need a really good grip on the bar so I use these so that's it for the gloves guys if you have any other questions just uh, leave a comment and let me know and I'll try to answer it for you guys and I highly recommend that everybody wear the gloves and just get make sure that you get the ones that are fake leather and um, it has the neoprene on side so that's easy it doesn't smell and it's easy to wash so those are the two things that I would just recommend and make sure that they slide on your hands and fit well too and have a good fit to it so thanks for watching this video and I'll see you next time guys